Hi guys, so today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to clean your Nintendo Switch uh, thermal paste inside. Okay, basically if you are using a thermal, uh, Nintendo Switch, uh, over time you'll find that the system might get heated up and this will cause problems later on when uh, if it gets too hot and you don't want your system to die quickly fast uh, with basically overheating up the battery and killing the system uh, in the future. So I'm doing a preventive maintenance. So inside will be a thermal paste. I'm going to clean up the internals uh, and also going to change the thermal paste so that this thing runs much cooler than it was before. So let's go on with the process on how to do that. Let's go. So basically get yourself a precision set, precision uh, screwdriver set. So mine uh, is one I got from a online store. Okay, make sure you get a nice set uh, that has many uh, interchangeable uh, heads. So uh, we are going to use one that's very Particular, it will be a triangular 2.0. Okay, you got to remove these four uh, screws first. Okay, uh, after which, there's a hidden screw here. Uh, you have to remove your SD card, and it's a simple uh, plus. Uh, screwdriver. Okay, then uh, you have to remove the number three at the side. The bottom two screws and the screw at the top. Okay, once then use a prying plastic prying tool to pry the back shelf. Okay, mine is quite smooth. And once you have uh pry it open, right? Especially this part here with the uh, headphone jack area. Uh, it's actually there's a catch. It's a plastic catch. So. Make it smooth, put it aside. This is the SD card area. Okay, you can remove this as well. So once you remove all the silver screws, again, you can use your plastic uh, prying tool, okay. Gently take a look at uh, what might be holding it back. Oh, there, there's one more screw here. Okay, do not force open by, uh, force open. Uh, always be gentle so you uh, will not run the risk of breaking the parts. Okay, here you have to remove this here. Okay, right. So, you have to remove it. And that is done. Put it aside. And now you can take off this foil. Okay. I have a tape resistance here. Alright, so now there it is. This is the thermal paste area. Okay. So, we just have to clean up this. Clean up this. And reapply the thermal paste through and through. Okay, let's go. I'll be using a alcohol wipe. So, the alcohol wipe to remove this ah, thermal paste has been caked so much. Right. Okay, remove that. Okay. And then, as you can see, oh, okay, okay, here. okay, to remove this. We 
remove the three screws. Okay, again, as you can see, uh, one, two, and three, remove them. Use the plastic prying tool to not damage it. Okay, gently lift off this uh, cooling, uh, copper cooling vent. Okay, this is the thermal paste here. I'm gonna use another another alcohol wipe. I'm gonna clean it, give it a good blow, remove existing thermal paste, remove it. The old thermal paste has been kicked hard, so I do not think uh, it's able to effectively uh, transfer and dissipate the heat. And I noticed that the unit uh, is running quite hot than it was before. So uh, that's why I decided to clean the thermal paste in this uh, machine. And uh, hopefully it runs better uh, this time around after cooler. It runs much cooler this time around than before. And hopefully it will last uh, much longer in terms of lifespan. So let's go. I'm just gonna dab a bit of uh cleaning a bit of the areas. Okay. That is done. Okay now you have to gently uh remove this heat shield. So this one here, we have to remove all paste. You can use the alcohol wipe to be uh, scraped using together with the plastic scraping tool. To remove all the tough thermal paste. Okay, so now what? Now you gotta clean the existing piece. The plastic screen tool and try to remove as much old paste as possible. All right, that's done. So, what's to do now? Alright, so get your thermal grease. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, thermal grease. Uh, any simple one will do. Okay. So let's go. So I'm going to inject some grease on it. So the idea is to cover the whole chip with the grease. Okay, 
So again, use your tool and spread the grease evenly across the chip. Okay, make sure all the surface is covered. All right, make sure it is evenly spread. So this one here, I have used up all the grease. Okay, so it seems I have to use a new one. We'll see which one is the one that's used. This one. Okay. Okay. Just set a bit more. All right. So we are gonna let some of these stay here. So that is done. We are going to we're gonna cover it up. Okay. Make sure there is a snap sound. Um, not the serious one though. Uh, if it's too loud, then I guess that's a serious uh, problem. Make sure it's a, just a click, such that the heat uh, cover, heat sink is uh, securely in place. Okay. So what's next? Um, this heat sink here. Apply some more grease. Okay. Again, use your uh, plastic prying tool and evenly spread the grease on the copper surface. Okay. Make sure it's evenly covered. Okay, nice and even. Now well, that is done. What's left is to add this uh cooling, this cooling pipe vent uh back, right? So how are we gonna do that? We are gonna lift this wire up a bit, so you can place this pipe vent back. But before that, make sure all of the connections are secure. Here, uh, I have already cleaned the 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 fan, so it doesn't matter. Okay, get the screws back. What's left now is to <coughs> add uh, some more thermal paste. I'm gonna add a stream of thermal paste here. Again, use the prying tool to spread it around. Okay, just add it bit here and there. That's it. Right. Okay. So make sure all the connections are good. Right. Uh, some more. Uh, the foil, the back of the foil. Add a bit of thermal paste since we had some thermal paste there as well, and just spread it.
test it out a bit. <laughs> 